All right. I'm going to go over two digit by two digit multiplication using what we call the standard algorithm. Oh, stand. All right, there we go. Standard algorithm. Now, this is what I learned when I was a kid. This is what your grown ups probably learned. But I'm not going to say that it's better because it's actually a little bit confusing. So if you're trying them out, just know that if you skip to this one and it's confusing, go look at the other ones. There's nothing wrong with doing it the other ways. Um, I would even say they're, yeah, better. But maybe you want to learn this way too. That's great. So I have 65 times 44. Now I'm going to write it on top of each other. And then first I'm going to start with the ones place. So I'm going to do 4 times 5, which is 20. Just like with one digit, I write the ones and carry the tens. Now I'm going to do 4 times 6, that's 24, plus 2, I get 26. Now, I'm done with that ones, so I need to, I like to cross it out and cross out the little number as well, because I'm going to be adding more little numbers up there. So now I'm going to my tens place. But because I'm going to my tens place, I have to remember to write a zero over in that ones place. That's important. Because really I'm doing 40 times 5 and 40 times 6. So I need to make sure to scoot it over one. So now I'm doing 4 times 5 again. That's 20. And 4 times 6, 24 plus 2 is 26. Okay, now I'll add those up. I didn't leave myself enough room. But... Um, I wouldn't usually write this over here, but again, I don't have space. So 0, 6, 8, and 2. 2,860 is my answer for that one. I'll show you another example, because sometimes we just got to see more examples. I have 38 times 72. Okay, I'm going to write them on top of each other, leaving myself more room this time. Again, I'll start with my ones on the bottom. So I have two times eight is 16. Write the six, carry the one. Two times three is six, plus one is seven. Now I'm done with my ones place, done with that little one up there. I'm going to my tens place. So I have to remember to put my zero as a placeholder to make sure I'm actually multiplying by 70 and not just seven. So 7 times 8 is 56, write the 6, carry the 5, 7 times 3 is 21, plus 5 is 26, and there's nowhere to carry to, so that's why I just wrote the whole number. Now I can add these together, I got 6, 7 plus 6 is 13, 6 plus 1 is 7, and then 2, 2,736. I'm even going to go ahead and do another example on this one because it's just tricky. So 91 times 85. 91 times 85, write it on top of each other. What place do I start with? The ones. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 times 9 is 45. Because I have nowhere to carry it, I can just write it down there. I'm done with my fives. I'm going to my tens. I didn't have any up, any numbers up on top to cross out. What do I need to add? The zero. Eight times one is eight. Eight times nine is seventy-two. I get nothing to carry, so I can just write it down there. Five. Five plus eight is thirteen. Four plus two is six. Plus one is seven, and then seven again. So seven thousand seven hundred thirty-five. Now, if this way is confusing, go try one of the other ways. There's nothing wrong with that. They are just as good. If you do want more examples of this, either send me an email, or if I'm on my math help, you can jump on and ask me questions. Just another way to do it. <clears throat> you don't have to show your work on your worksheet. If you just put it in your math notebook, I will trust that you are doing the work. And... Um, yeah, because it can be hard to write all those numbers on Kami depending how much space there is. Good luck.